Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching the video and visiting the Indiegogo site to help me take Miriam's Well around the country and get it out to more people. Um, if you know me, you know that I tend to spend years writing my books and for the last 13, 14 years I've dived into the story of Miriam from the Bible, but I set it in the U.S., beginning with the New York City blackout of 1965, and then having it be kind of something a little bit like Forrest Gump meets the Red Tent. Miriam finds herself at the center of American historical events where she's searching for home, trying to figure out meaning and what her life is about, trying to find her people. This is a book that dives into that intersection between history and identity. I'm somebody who's always been fascinated with history. I remember my first history class in Russian history way, way back in my first year at a community college and I ended up even becoming an American history major during my BA degree. And so I followed that love to look at some events that have helped shape our, shape our country. From Hurricane Katrina in 1995, back to the Wounded Knee Occupation in 1973, the People's Park Occupation in 1969, through 9-11 and the Whittier earthquake and so many other moments that brought us together and showed us that very often in the worst of times we can find the best of our own abilities and grow our capacity for love. Miriam continually finds herself at the center of these events, cooking for people, singing with people, helping bring people together to find a new way of living in community and also at the same time searching for her own home. And this is a book that looks very much at the stories we live, the stories we create, and how we can get into the control room of some of those stories to get kind of beneath the storylines and to something that might even be a little more eternal. Um, it's also a book that draws on the Jewish tradition of Midrash, which is our constant grappling with biblical text and stories to find deeper meanings or more relevant meanings. And Midrash often takes the form of retelling stories. Thank you so much for visiting with me and with our modern day Miriam exploring the wilds of the desert we find ourselves in now as we all look toward greater peace, greater joy and community and our own definition of arriving in the promised land. over the great divide to the land of milk and honey hearts are open the vision is wide